9 So how many digits we have? Nine. Welcome to Math Room 1. Today is our first class and our topic is place value and base 10. And our student name is? Rifat Bari. Uh, what is base 10? Uh, I don't know. You want to learn? Yeah. Base 10 basically is uh, uh, symbols. So we use 10, we call them digit. Mm. Uh, and we use 10 symbols. Okay. Do you understand? Kind of. Give me your hand. How many fingers do you have? Uh, 10 fingers. All right. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how many digits do we have? 9. 10. Right? Don't, don't, how many fingers do you have? Uh, nine. Did you lose any fingers just because I wrote something? No. All right. You still have ten fingers. And we use these ten symbols and we call them digit. Oh. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and. Oh, okay. All right. So we can use this digit to create any numbers. Mm. Now the next thing we're gonna learn is place value. What is place value? Uh, val some kind of value. I don't know. Um. All right, so I'm going to, uh, this is a hands-on school, and we're going to have to understand it through hands-on. Okay, okay. The, and we're going to make connection between base 10 and, uh, and place value. All right, mm -hmm. so I want you to write 1, 3, 4 in expanded form. And write okay. the place value for 4, place value for 3, and place value for 1. Okay, so 1, 3, 4 in expanded form, right? Yeah. So I have to expand it. So, I put the 1 here, the 3 here, and the 4 here. Ah, uh, that's wrong. I expanded it. No. Huh? Alright, uh, okay, so another way of trying the same thing. Write the place value for 1, place value for 3, or place value for 4. Hopefully oh, okay. So, the place value for 4 is 4. Place value for 3 is going to be 1. So place value for four is you can write it one. Oh one. Yeah. Place value for three is ten. Ten. Place value of one is hundred. Is hundred. Yeah. Do you understand? Uh, I have to memorize. Right? No, no, no. This school is not memorization. This is school all about hands on. Okay. All right. Let, let me help you understand it other way. Yeah. How many groups of one we have? uh four oh, very good four groups of one you think i think so so write four groups of one okay so this one is gonna be four groups of one four groups of, of one. how many groups of how many groups of ten uh, we have three three groups of ten wow congratulations wow and how many groups of hundred we have one one groups of hundred we have so now can you tell me if I put another value over here, like, uh, I don't know, what number? You give me a number. Uh, two. Is the two a, a, a symbol, one of the symbol that we use in base Yeah. Okay, yes. good. C can you show me a finger? Uh, Whose who's finger has two? Wow, very this good. This one. Yeah, two is valid. Four groups of? One. Three groups of ten. One group of hundred. Two group of thousand and so on. Okay. Ah. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna um uh, and you're gonna now show me this idea using candies. This one holds, this one holds maximum of ten candies. Oh. All right. This one. This one can hold maximum of one hundred Candy. candies. Mm -hmm. And that this place hold. Uh, professor, what happened over here? Um. I almost lo I almost lost my finger yesterday. Oh my god! Uh, smashing my finger between the car door. Sorry, professor. Uh, it's okay. So can you write for me? I can, yeah. I cannot write. Sure. Okay. So, so one. One. And then write ten. Ten. In the ten, we're gonna put three glass. Okay. And how many? How many maximum candy can you put on this in this glass? Ten. And hundred.
hundred. Hundred. So one three four. Right. One four. One three four. Okay. So can you use the candy to show me? Okay. So I see you have a big bowl of M and M's. Can I use this? Yeah. Okay. Show me four groups of one. Okay. Four groups of one. So that means I have to take one candy, two candy, three candies, and four candies. So All right. So this is four groups of one. Four groups of one. Now show me three groups of ten. So. I know one glass can hold 10 maximum. All right, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to get 10, 10, 10 candy. One candy, two candy, three candy, four candy, five candy, six candy, nine candy, Seven. 10 candy. Yeah. So I have 10 candy. Okay. So that means I can put all of them in one box. Yes. So now how many group of 10 you have? I have one group of 10. How so many far. more you need? Two more. Okay. So all together you're going to have? Three groups of ten. Very good. Very good. Okay. So I need, okay, one candy, two candies, three candies, four candy. A few minutes later. Nine candy, ten candy. Okay. Okay. So that can fill another box. Now how many groups of ten you have? Now I have two groups of ten. How many more do you need? I need one more group and then you're gonna have three group of ten. Three okay. groups of ten. All right. Okay, so Continue. I just need one more group. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay, very good. Oh, okay. All right. So now you have How many groups of ten? Three groups of ten. How can you say three groups of ten other way? Thirty. Very good. Candies. Thirty candies. Uh -huh. Thirty candies plus how many candies? Four ones. Thirty-four candies, right? Yeah. But that's not our goal. Our goal is to represent one thirty-four candies. So how can you do that? I this mean. one can fit one hundred candies. Oh, this box can fit one hundred. One hundred candies. Wow. So. Okay, so I'm gonna start counting. Right. Okay, so I'll just put the box here for now. So sure. I can put 100 candies. One candy. Two candies. Three candies. Four candies. Five candies. Six candies. Seven candies. Six months later! 95. 96. Oh, 97. 98. 99 100 okay oh my now God. Where, where this container belongs to the 100 no, over no, here no no that would be if you put it over here one you cannot put it over here because this is this is 100 no this okay. is this is a one group of 100 okay so one group of 100 so this is a four group of one this is three group of 10 this is one group of oh hundred this is one group of hundred oh so okay. if i count all of these up i get 134 candies so now can you write it in expanded form yes um i know this is one group of hundred mm -hmm. so i'm gonna write 100 i know this is three groups of 10 okay so i'm gonna write 30 and i know this is four groups of one mm -hmm. so i'm gonna write four and if I add all of these up, I get 134. I haven't existed. Very good. Wow. What is this number? I don't know. You have to give me more information. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is this? 1, 10, and 100. So this is just a 9. That's it. If I put this... Same belly over here. Now what is this? It's a 90. Because this is 9 groups of 10. If I put this over here, what is this become? It's a 900. 9 groups of 100. So it's correct. So the place value. So if I just tell you 9, you don't know. No. I did not give you enough information. So very good. Now, final. Finally, 1. 
Put the candy in the right place. One. Okay, one. Two. Three. Eight. Four. Nine. Ten. Eleven. You are all right so this is this is where my student always fails oh. all right now can you correct your mistake you made mistake how many mm. symbols we have ten ten symbols zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine okay so anything that goes beyond nine what mm. do you that become what ten ten oh so can i use one of the boxes or you can put it over here oh or you okay. can put it over here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one group of ten. And, and that's one group of one. Very nice. <sighs> Thank you.